I just finished watching the last dance joint for the second time now at this point. <laughs> that documentary. I know you've seen that, KB. Yeah, man. It's a lot to learn. Huh? Huh? It's a lot to learn from the last dance. Oh my God. Oh my God. That was that was yeah, a lot to learn. You know, but man, that made had me reliving my my um young adult. In college years, man, you know, you know that was the team right there. I don't want to hear nothing about nobody else. <laughs> it's not even up for debate. Like pfft. that team right there, mm -mm -mm. man. So, yeah, definitely, definitely was feeling that. See, you got the mask on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in the car with Kate. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Where's me? Dex at the studio. What studio, Dex at? What's up, bro? Are other people getting feedback? Uh, yeah. Let me uh, check with Dex. So, Dex, how you doing? You want to run some sound real quick just so we can see if it, you know, uh, for Ricky for the stream? Or you need some more time? You muted, bro. Sorry, he'll he's uh troubleshooting right now. We'll okay, right no, that's cool. Badger, you wanna um run some of your stuff, man? This audio, are you uh playing any audio? You just gonna do a studio walkthrough? Um, I could I could play something from the studio speakers that I yeah made. yeah and, yeah um, just yeah. just a little bit, not your whole presentation. I just want to make sure Ricky has good levels for the stream. That's all. All right, for sure. I'm about to uh pull it up in a second. Okay. How everything else been going, KB, man? Uh, pretty good. Just moved into this new office in Chicago. Very excited about that. Right. Uh, it's Monday. Today's the first day in the office. Uh, yeah, very excited. You know, I just moved back to Chicago, too, so just tapping in with all my folks. Right. I had a big year last year. So, uh -huh. uh, just trying to, one, Keep going, keep pushing, but at the same time, catch everybody up on 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 what's new. You know. Yep. Ooh. You up, Dex? Yeah, I'll just play some out the speakers from the studio, and then okay. uh, eventually we'll have the Pro Tools. To be What's up, Lord? Lord just came into the room. He's in there somewhere. What's up, Lord? How you doing? Hey, bro? hey, I'm great. How are you guys? Good, man, we're just in here now. Everybody's kind of going bro. around sound checking. Everyone, this is Lord Childs. He's going to be the city music scholar that's going to be performing a little bit today. Hi. Um, nice to meet we, everybody. yeah, we have Joseph, nice baby, you who you'll meet him yeah, and his team. We have Sierra, nice nice meet, man. Dex and Badger, um, as well as John Biggest and Ricky on the line, who you know from the Pulse team. So hey. just bear with us here. Hello. We're going to start it soon. Um, we're just kind of making sure everyone, you know, is kind of set with the stuff they want to present, you know, um, audio wise. Lord, you've shared on Zoom before, right? Yes. Uh, you performed on Zoom. So we may not necessarily need to run through a whole big sound check thing with you. I know you do your thing. So, but if he, you know, if you want to just run something real quick, 
we'll, uh, we're we doing Dex, then Badger, and then we'll get to you. Oh, what up? Okay. Because what I'm planning on doing is playing the music video, so I'll have to share my screen, correct? Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's even easier. That like we don't necessarily need to sound check that then. You know okay. what I'm saying? So that's yeah. That's fine. So you can do your talk about your audio setup and stuff, play your stuff, and then um, like I mentioned, we'll probably have KB uh, and his team maybe give you some feedback afterwards. Awesome. Cool. Make sure there's no feedback. Right. Cool. Join the meeting. Oh, no. uh, yeah. Because no they can hear themselves and Pro Tools. Well, that's the one you're trying to be able to hear them. Because they need to ask him questions. Oh, yeah, he's just got to run that out. Make sure that's not going back into what he's in. He's going to ask you. Do I have to play the uh, clean version? Uh, yes, that'd be preferable. All right, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you can go ahead and run it. If you're ready, you can run yours real quick. I think Dex is still getting yeah. something up. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to pull up the uh, the clean version file real quick. Do you want me to send you the clean? Yeah, can you uh, send me that real quick? The hardest part of questions and stuff is just like, get right here. All right, I'll just send you guys uh, uh, another invite. It's, uh, it's right there. This computer. You have arrived at your destination. The route guidance is now finished. Well, do you see a um another RCM trying to join yes. the Yep, I got it. Now that's the Pro Tools feed okay. that allow you guys to hear everything. Okay, perfect. All right, there we go. Bye. Okay. Oh, How's that level coming in so far? Yeah, I'm a uh, Ricky. Uh, what do you think? I I heard it good as a as a um as a person on the link. But, um, Ricky, what do you think? Ricky? Not a good over here on this side. Oh, yeah. I see what you're doing. Yeah, set it. Set it. Yeah. Um, sorry, I didn't see I was muted. Um, it didn't sound like it was being shared directly through Zoom. Was that okay. being picked up by the mic or was that going directly from computer audio? Yeah, nice to meet you. Did you share a hey, deck? Did you share it through Zoom? Yeah, you did. Well, you shared it through Zoom, Jack? Yeah, I think uh, I can play it one more time if you guys need it. It was going okay. All right. Oh, the Wi-Fi? It's uh, Studio Guest. 
and the password is. Get that money, don't save you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think that I want to be saved. It's hard to save you. When I'm black, it's not like every day. I'm from the bottom of the reef, and I'm the wave of the wave. So I'm blessed on it because I'm learning shit that I should be. You want the so if you want the output, come through the speakers like this. Or are you good with your phone? Um, oh, it's so, Like this output? Yeah, you can go through your phone. Like the phone? Or uh, right. now the speakers. Through the speaker. I have to like read you. I'm cool. I'm cool. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, I could hear. Okay, it. all right. So, um, I think yeah, guys, it's about four o'clock. We got some folks in the waiting room. We got about another two or three minutes. Is there anyone else that um wants to just run through their stuff can, real quick? Uh, I can play the song on my end real quick. I can, I can <sighs> yeah. Um, would there also be time for me to just make sure that the audio yep. is working? For okay, perfect. Yes, sir. Dex, uh, do you mind stop sharing for a second? Thank you, Dex. Perfect. Yep, I got you. Wait, yeah. You said stop sharing? Yeah, stop sharing your screen. Another day, another legend gone. Am I wrong for pulling all my pain inside these songs? Am I on or am I just stuck inside of my own pain? My mind, I can trust her. She might waste my time. But I might do it anyway because my mind will come. He told me to see me. I told him just don't do it. But she gon' just like the honorable. I can hear that. I can hear that clear. Ricky, what do you think? Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, Thanks, Badger. Um, Lord, um, you want to, well, yeah, Dex, you going to stop sharing your screen, bro? Yeah, my bad. I thought I'd come. It's all good. And then, Lord, queue up your video and you'll run yours next. We got about 13 people in the waiting room. And then what I'll do is after we get the thumbs up on audio, I'll go to my screen and just play some stuff from Title, let people kind of populate, and then we'll kick the meeting off. Okay. Go ahead. Um, yeah, so this gotcha. is off. We'll uh, bring Lord up. Oh, yeah. His uh his screen is still sharing, so I gotta. I know, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for him to stop sharing. Okay, perfect. Thanks, bro. Yep. All right, Lord. Can you guys hear it? Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect. Go to the middle real quick. The part where like the like the loudest part really quickly. Awesome. All right, Ricky, what you think? Ricky? I think yeah, you're good. Bro. Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm good. Yeah, I think it's good. Okay, perfect. Awesome. All right, guys. Um, let's stop sharing. I'm going to go uh, and share my screen really quickly. Uh, so anybody got any questions before we get started? Everybody good? Can you let me in on my laptop? Because my phone died. Okay. Uh, let me see where you are here. Yeah. There you go. All right. All right. I'm going to share my screen now. Over the title.
Welcome everybody coming in. We'll be getting started in a couple minutes. We'll stop sharing here and I think we're going to get started. So uh, welcome everyone to uh, our Monday meeting. i um, so glad to see everyone and have everyone here. Um, today is going to be a really cool day. We have a very, very, very uh, special guest and his team joining us as well as um, a cool, really cool share out from our um, one of our city music scholars. Um, so to kind of get started here, I want to introduce our first um, presenter or guest, um, and his name is Joseph KB. Joseph KB, uh, actually, before I go into the bio, Joseph worked with us a lot last year in City Music and our program. Um, and he did this, uh, you know, a whole new class or elective for us, uh, really centered around the music business. I think there are some kids on this uh, call that were a part of that, but um, that's how I became familiar and our department became familiar with Joseph um, and, and it was a great job. And he really, really, uh, I think, um, helped our kids understand the business a lot better, um, as well as understanding how to brand and, and, and this whole new world of navigating being an artist. Um, so he's an artist manager. He's managed artists such as Taylor Bennett and Mellow Makes Music. Um, he is also the founder and creative director of Just Chicago Group, um, a creative services group meant to help grow their crew of artists through artist representation, merchandise design, video content, um, and more. So currently, Joseph is an a &R manager at United Masters Distribution. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Joseph and his team, whom, whom he's going to introduce. Um, but uh, yeah, without further ado, everyone, uh, Joseph KB. Hey, how's it hey, going, everybody? Going, everybody? Uh, Great to be connected. Great to be connected. Um, yeah, very pleasure to to have a chance to speak with you all. Um, you know, we have a some really talented artists uh, with us today, um, and we want to talk to you guys about um, management, what what inside the studio process may look like. Um, at the same time, field any questions that you guys may have, get some feedback um, on our special guest today, uh, and any studio setups you guys might have. We have um, Dex, who's an amazing engineer and producer here. Um, he's, he's worked with tons of great people and, and, and has uh, a ton more coming. Um, yeah, I mean, just happy to be here today. I have Sierra here. She's my partner on Badger, um, which is an artist that we'll be speaking on today. Hi, I'm Sierra. I'm Badger's manager. 
Um, I guess we're going to take you guys inside the studio. Dex is going to show you a real recording studio, and Badger's going to show you where he records in Maryland. How you guys doing? I'm bad. I'm in Maryland. They in Chicago right now, but we still going to show you all the process coming from the East Coast. Hi, um, Linwood. Um, how you? How you? Uh... Yeah. Well, I think I think the best thing to do. I think we can either go to Badger or Dex first in terms of the process. Um, you know, we can. You know, however you guys are comfortable. I think you can do a. Yeah. It doesn't have to be all Badger and all Dex. They can kind of play yeah. all. Yes. But, but you know, I think it'd be. I think we should have. Uh, I think we should have Badger introduce himself. Um, let's, let's go, go from there. there. Yeah. He said, uh, so where you want to start? Where you, where you guys want to start? So um, the process of making music or like how like you were in Chicago and made this chart. Cause <laughs> I guess we can start there then. That's you want to start there? Yeah. All right. But um, so pretty much um, first time I came out to Chicago, I picked up at a house. So we already kind of got familiar with each other, you know what I'm saying? His workflow, my workflow. And like, he can kind of get a good idea how I like my voice, you know, it's really important to me in my process that engineer, you know what I'm saying? If I'm not, since I don't engineer it myself, that the engineer has a good idea of what I want on record. You know what I'm saying? How I wanted to cut through. So um, I had a good feeling with Dex, you know what I'm saying? I recorded with him one time and I felt like he knew, like he knew what he was doing and we was on a similar wavelength. So we brought him back through the uh, second time we came to Chicago at a different studio and uh, pretty much linked up again. And then it was pretty much from there, that's where we started to work again. It was it was just lights out, just all work from there. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I think um, one of the biggest things that kind of helped me uh, kind of dial in your sound. Oh, yeah. You guys hear me now? Yeah. One of the things that kind of helped me uh, dial in your sound before we actually met or worked together was just uh, listening to some of your previously re released music and some unreleased stuff that uh, Sierra, she had kind of sent me and um, I kind of got an idea of, you know, a ballpark yeah, sure. sound of where you would like to be. And from there, yeah, we, we kind of just dialed it in more and we got comfortable, like you said, after the first session, the second session was super yeah. uh, smoother. We worked even more efficiently that time, you know, so it was a, it was a dope experience for sure. But by the, by the last day, it felt like we was, we was really like putting the pieces together. We, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's definitely exciting. That's one thing about making music. I would say when you find people that there's, there's a lot of people that make music, you know what I'm saying? That means there's a lot of people you could work with. So, you know, I would say be selective, but also be open to because, you know what I'm saying? You never know what that from just whatever, because if I was just looking at Dex as another engineer coming through the studio and I wasn't really trying to see what his potential could be and vice versa with me as an artist, we both could be on that tunnel vision too much, you know what I'm saying? But we kind of opened up and just worked with each other and found out that we got a good flow going. So that's how that's how we, uh, the music started coming out more easily. So then from there, um, we pretty much, I went into the studio. Um, I had a couple beats. I had told Sierra to hit up some producers that I had found on social media. And uh, I had them send through a lot of different beats. So me personally, I'm not very premeditated when, when it comes to all the time listening to beats before I go to the studio because I want to catch the vibe or catch the feeling I'm in when I'm at the studio. You know what I'm saying? I know every artist is different and it varies. But me personally, I like to catch the vibe that I'm currently in so I can portray it the best. So I was just playing beats. And uh, I played the beat. I was like, oh, this new man, you know what I'm saying? Pretty much sent it to Dex. And then from there, he transferred it over onto his. Onto, what was you on Logic? Or was it yeah, I was uh, on Logic to, to add in more production. I, that's what I used to uh, do any production. I'm a, I'm a Logic Pro X guy. But uh, in Pro Tools, I definitely use Pro Tools to record and to engineer, mix, you know, master and stuff like that. But yeah, we, that's how we, we kind of got that song. Yeah, so. So then once he got it on there, I just went into the booth and then I told him to get my levels, you know what I'm saying? And he, you know what I'm saying? He told me to do like a little bit of like, just like a, like a run through so he can get my levels on the mic and we try to get everything correct. And then once I was comfortable, I just started going from there. I, um, that's the song that we're going to show you today from uh, the studio. 
that Dex is at, um, I actually, I did not write it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of my music, personally, I don't like to write, you know what I'm saying? I've, I've been, I write in my head, but it's just easier for me to do it that way. So that was the same for that song. I kind of just punched in line for line. Um, I did it pretty quickly, but it came out to be, it's a feeling. I tried to catch the feeling as much as possible, you know what I'm saying? So I really got engaged with it. And then we came up with that and probably about, what would you say, like an hour? Maybe yeah, less probably than yeah, probably less than that to be quite yeah. honest. Yeah. Um, like I said, that was our second session. So at that point, we, you know, we were way more efficient. We were kind of a little more used to each other as far as like the recording process and how you like to have your headphone cue and all that stuff. So yeah, yeah that song that one went pretty fast. Yeah, and, and it's different. It's, it's different recording with Dex too. It's not the same as when I'm here at this studio that I'm at right now because. The studio I'm at right now, I um recorded uh most of my the songs I released to, up to this point, you know what I'm saying? But it's a it's an in-home studio, still on logic, you know what I'm saying? We still have presets and, and a decent mic, but it's different, you know what I'm saying? The reference that we get, the first vocal reference isn't that good, you know what I'm saying? It's not as we have to, you know what I'm saying? Mix. So, it's almost like I'm excited because you know what I'm saying? I get the whole experience the whole studio, you know. And I get to actually like hear myself in the in the heavy the proper way. I'm, you know what I'm saying so it, it helps too. Like you know, what I'm saying working in different environments, you never know. So it's it's just, it's just fun when we get to go lock in in the studio. Boom. So I had a quick question, real quick. I know you guys are flowing, but for Sierra and uh, KB, what attracted you to Badger as an artist? Like you know, like I you know I know some of the artists you've managed and worked with, but. You know, just in the scheme of what Just Chicago and your group is about, what is it that attracted you to Badger's artists and what's your vision for them? Yes, um, definitely. Well, I, I started out working with Sierra professionally probably like the beginning of this year. Um, but we've been friends with her for, for a long time. So that we share some of the same cultural values. Like we shopped at some of the same stores in the past, some of the same friends. So when she came to me and she was like, hey, you know, I, I found this artist that I really, I, I really like, you know, I, I want to get into management and uh, I think he has something, you know, I checked him out and uh, I thought he was amazing. And I'm like, yo, any, anything I can do to help you, uh, you know, help him, you know, I'm with it, you know? Um, but, but yeah, I mean, she, she, she picked them right. You know, I, I, I would say, but uh, I'll let her speak on, you know, how they connected. Hi. So I had my eyes on Badger for a while. His name was actually KE back then. Um, I was following him, listening to his music. It was really only on SoundCloud. And then, I don't know, this was 2018, two years passed. And I was like, hey, I just DM'd him, who's your manager? He didn't have one. So I gave him some time, let him release some more music, kept listening, and I was like, okay, I'm ready. Let's let's do this. I'll be your manager if you want me to be. Cool, cool. great, that's great. Well, Dex, I got some questions, and I'm sure others may have some questions for you too, but... I don't want to. I don't want to take up too much time. Let's get to some music. If you guys want to roll that out and set up what you're going to share with us today, that'd be great. Yeah, Dex, play that. Play that song that we was just talking about. <laughs> and yeah, Sierra was 100 percent correct. That's exactly how everything went. KV, you know what I'm saying? It, it was just. It was a perfect match. Sometimes when the puzzle pieces fit, you can't resist it. It just. It just happens like that. Just have faith. Faith is important. That's love, bro. And now we with you. Yeah, whenever you're ready, Dex. All right, here it is. If that money don't come to you, yeah. I don't think that I wanna be saved. It's hard to stay cool. Yeah. When the black is out like every day, I'm from the bottom of the reef when I'm the wave of the wave. No, I'm belligerent because all of the shit that I say. You was invited to the party, but you didn't want to stay. But every time I pull out, the people get in my way. So I had to keep it secret. Every time I put it in, they had to never want to keep it. Niggas really out here on some tweets. I'm so high. 
Dancing, you can give your body a little seat. We already hit us at a nice when you was tweaking. I know you're weak. Yeah. I just want to know this. I think I'm decent. I think I'm decent. I don't save you. Yeah. I don't think that I want to be safe. It's hard to stay cool. When I'm black inside, I can't breathe that day I'm from the bottom of the reef But I'm no way with a weapon No one will enjoy it Because all this shit that I said You was invited to the party But you didn't want to step in Like every time I smoke the side And people get in my way Every day I was whipping to be you Waiting for coaches to call me Hoping for you Now that I see the bigger picture than you Can't understand why the gas I'm smoking too So you gotta understand why I tell them All the pricks up in the past And yeah, I fell for it Only time I made it back when the block is hot like every day From the bottom of the reef What you play with the way They don't want to be the joint Because all this shit that I said You was invited to the party But you didn't want to be like I put my phone to that You can't get my money so yeah that was the the name when we had uh recorded that that second session that we had at the right. studio right. and uh um, yeah yeah um good, good, good i like that man Ooh. i think because it wasn't i think because it wasn't muted on on uh dexes and it was playing on the rcm one it was a little bit like louder was it a delay? Did you guys hear it? it was a little bit, but it's all good, man. Like you know, right, I think, uh, like, you know, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You no. Know, but you, the artist, though, you know, I know you heard it. <laughs> yeah, I already know. <laughs> you know, you know. That's really cool. Um, does anybody like before I go? And does anybody have any questions? Uh, really quickly. Uh, not quickly, but anybody have any questions about that process or what? Badger, uh, Sierra, and KB, and um, Dex have been talking about. Romero? Um, I kind of want to ask uh, Dex, like, how do you try to get into the minds? Like, how do you try to approach figuring out what exactly the artist wants within, like, an engineering and producing context, If even if they don't, may not necessarily have the li literacy of engineering uh, to explain what they want? Yeah, uh, I, I would say the first thing is listening. Like, um, like I said, if you could, if you have the luxury of hearing some um, previously released music or even unreleased music that they may have been working on and haven't fully finished the idea out yet, just kind of hearing what what type of effects or what you know. A biggest thing I look listen for is, oh, does this person like auto tune? Do they not like auto tune? You know, those type of things. I think. Uh, tell you a lot just off listening and then from there i would just say um like a big thing that that badger would, would uh communicate with me is uh, you know if he if he wanted a certain element um louder or quieter and like you said if he doesn't know how to say it in i guess the most engineering type of language you know you kind of got to just try to use as many context clues as you can as far as like uh like i said like volume or Using words like bright, dark, or, um, you know, more harmonic or, you know, less auto-tune, you know, different words like that. So, yeah, I would say listening to their music and then just trying to have a conversation with them, too. You know? Okay, cool. thanks. Thanks. Anyone else have any questions? Um, well, I had a question really quickly for Badger. Um, Tell us a little bit about your setup, man. And like you mentioned it, you alluded to it earlier in terms of um, just the difference between being in the studio with Dex and your own personal setup. But a lot of our students are, well, a lot of us, period, are in the same boat, you know, kind of stuck in the house. Uh, just really quickly walk us through a little bit of what you got working with there, um, just in terms of gear and, you know, mic-wise. You ain't really got to, you know, if you're comfortable pointing the camera to it, that's fine. But you can just kind of explain to us a little bit of what you're working with. Yeah, for sure. So, so I definitely, so <laughs> this home su studio that I'm in right now, this is the studio that I was working in since 2017, late 2017. And even before that, but like I would say officially working in, I was in 2017. So we've been building and we've gotten a lot of more improved gear over the time. 
Mm-hmm. But you know what I'm saying? You trying to pass me that compressor right there? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh yeah, interface. So we start off with this, you know what I'm saying? We just got yes. off. I know a lot of students got this, you know what I'm saying? So yep. it don't matter, like really, we, we got the Apollo twin now as the interface. Uh-huh. Perfect. We got what's the mic, what's the mic model? Blue spark. We got the blue spark. So okay. like it's not like we got the UA7, you know what I'm saying, that I use at the other studios, but uh we got something good enough to get a reference onto the logic. And it's it's not like it's not like disheartening or nothing either when I hear the rough, you know what I'm saying, the first rough that comes through this, because I uh, I'm I know that the like the final mix is gonna sound better or I ask for it almost helps, you, you know what I'm saying? Cause if you go to official studios all the time, it's like you only hearing that like that super, super mix, like even rough mix, and it's like you're not even learning really the elements of it. So I would say it's it's really it's really good musically and sonically for yourself to start from the bottom of the way. You know what I'm saying? Good. Well, yeah. Um, Go. Yeah. As the setup goes, I would say as long as you got a mic, you got an interface, you got uh, Logic Pro Tools, you know what I'm saying, whatever you got, as long as you want to make music and, and you got enough to do it, then you're gonna like you're gonna be good. It's just it's just about learning your quality, learning what you want, and just talking to the right people because if you don't engineer, somebody else does. If you don't make beats, somebody else does. If you don't rap, then somebody else does. Right, all right. Yeah. So um, I have one more question for Sierra and KB, but again, does someone have uh, anything else they want to add real quick before I jump in? Um, well, so Sierra and KB, uh, mainly Sierra and now you being the manager, uh, with this song, and especially in this sort of environment of COVID and you know, sort of being homebound, what's next for how you promote Dex, how you get them out there, how you really help to um, push this brand forward? I guess it's a dual question for both of you, but just what are some strategies you can share with us about what's next for how you take this song and and and, and uh, give it some legs and go from there with it? Or continue so, to do things, rather. Sorry. Yeah, his last trick here, he made four hits. You guys just heard one of them, but there's three other ones. I've been talking about it every day. We're going to figure out a way to obviously cut through the clutter because it is a pandemic and everyone is releasing music right now every single day. So I get on the phone with Badge. I try to talk to him every day, and we, we're going to figure out a unique way to drop all four songs. Yeah, yeah. I know right now they just uh, applied to an online performance that they got uh, um, accepted for. Do you know when that is? Road Nation is on Thursday. This Thursday. So this Thursday, they're going to be performing some new joints. On um, we've been uh, promoting, we've been emailing blogs um, like Lyrical Lemonade, Fake Shore Drive, Local Influencers, um, getting into different studios, getting into the ears of like local... Um, People that we know that 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 are into music, like there's a guy named PZ here that that does A and R work. Um, used to work with Rocky Fresh, who we were listening to on the playlist earlier. So, you know, uh, we know that you know Badgers from the DMV, um, but we know that uh, we know Chicago better than he does. And we're gonna bring him to Chicago, which we have been doing, getting him to work and and associated with the people that we know that have a lot of credits, like you know Dex, who's amazing, um, and bringing him to you know different different. Um, pool that he can literally like change the pigment of that pool. You know, like if you drop a, a droplet of ink in a pool, um, it's really concentrated. So the whole pool turns that color. Um, right now we're using Chicago as his pool. You know, uh, we're trying to get more familiar with DMV and tap into our connections, our relationships, our network to see what we can do um, collaboratively and, and then just keep going. It's, it's been about what, two months so far? Uh, I yeah. started managing him. Yeah, I started managing him in January, but he we met for the first time in June. Right. So it's it's been about two months, and and uh, there's a lot there's a lot to do. Um, a lot of artist development, but um, slowly but surely, you know, we're we're building brick by brick right yeah. now. I think it's important. Well, for me, all my contacts are in Chicago, maybe a little in New York, but just having him here once a month and really connecting with people. And I, you know, he, I introduced him to Dex and they have a relationship now. So just making sure that he's here every month, linking with producers, with PZ, with A&Rs and just getting his name out there is very important to me. Yeah. Good stuff, good stuff. And my last question before we transition into Lord, uh, and again, does anybody else have any 
uh, questions or feedback based on what KB and Badger and Dex have been presenting so far? Well, my question for Dex is, you know, you mentioned logic. Um, and just in terms of DAWs, and, you know, a lot of our kids and even in our program, everyone's got their preference. I've got mine, Ableton, Logic, Reason, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, for a lot of our students just getting into this. Yeah, I think um, you got it. Sorry. For, for, for a lot of our students just getting into this, um, or just period, just from your perspective, talk briefly about your journey in terms of how you found your dog. You know, a lot of people pr prefer Pro Tools, but just for someone that's trying to get started getting into the game um, for production wise, what are some tips you can give them around approaching picking up a dog? So I, I ended up choosing my dog. I had tried all of them. I, I, I've been making beats since high school. So I, I started with uh, Fruity Loops. And then from there, I kind of dabbled away from it and went more and got comfortable more with Logic only because uh, I think the most important thing is what makes it uh, the easiest for you to create? Like, you don't want to have to spend five minutes trying to figure out a, a, a you know, a function on the DAW because then that makes you forget your musical idea, whatever melody you just came out with or whatever drums you thought about. So I think um, for me, Logic was the easiest for me to kind of just maneuver around, you know, whether it was like doing effects or just working with audio, editing audio and stuff, it, it just made it easier for me to create beats. But then as I kind of started learning how to engineer and learning more about the engineering world, I uh, went over to Pro Tools because, um, like I said, as I got more proficient, I, I started to find out that Logic may not be the fastest for me, at least, to edit the audio in. So um, from there, I learned Pro Tools and um, I figured out, you know, that, that allowed me to be the fastest. And I think as an engineer, that's what difference from the producer. Like a producer, you have all the time in the world to create a beat or to make a song or to work on some drums or make a guitar loop. But engineering, um, as Badger kind of uh, talked about earlier, it's about the artist being comfortable. And I think the biggest thing that helps an artist being comfortable is your speed. And um, if you take a long time editing audio or you know dragging a clip down so that they can hear the playback, that kind of takes the artist out of the mood a little bit. It also takes you a super long time to, you know, do do whatever they're they're asking you to do. So, I would just say, uh, in order for you guys to find what dog that makes you guys comfortable, respect, you know, individually, uh, I would just say, spend a little time learning some of the shortcuts on each one, and then um, from there, just kind of figure out which one allows you to uh, maneuver faster by, you know, memory. You know, like um, some shortcuts kind of carry over in, in in other dogs, like. You know, command C is command, you know, copy for a lot of different programs, you know, so um, shortcuts and then just practice really just trying to see which one you feel more, most comfortable with, you know. But cool. I do like Ableton. I've tried Ableton. I've tried, like mm -hmm. I said, Fruity Loops. So, yeah. Cool. Cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Well, you know, Just Chicago Group, we appreciate it. Uh, this has been informative. I really appreciate, um, you know, you guys presenting this stuff and, and I'm looking forward to hearing more from Badger, especially you being from the DMV, I'm from Virginia myself, not quite from all of the DMV, but you know, uh, it's good to hear that, you know, and I love to hear some go-go influence if you, if you down with it up in your music at some point, but uh, not many people know about that if you're not from the DMV. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, but yeah, thank you all for um, presenting that. And um, we're gonna transition now to our next artist. Um, so this next young gentleman, Mr. Lord Childs, uh, I had the pleasure of meeting him for the first time last year, and I was him and his brother as well. And uh, he he performed at one of our meetings, one of our in-person meetings last year, and he great, gave a really great performance and a really great talk. And I was inspired really by, um, <clears throat> excuse me, how at his age he had such um, grace and maturity. Um, and not to mention, that was before I'd heard him play a note, you know, but then once he opened his mouth and sung, uh, I was just as blown away. So I'm going to stop hyping and capping on him and just introduce him and let him sort of uh, introduce himself, uh, his who he is as an artist, and he's going to share some stuff with us. So without further ado, Mr. Lord Childs. Hello, everyone. Thank you for that awesome introduction. Um, so hi, my name is Lord Childs. I 
my musical journey started very early. Um, I've been singing really ever since I could talk. And um, when I was five years old, I learned the violin and I've been playing ever since with my brother. And so that helped me um, learn more about music and more about you know music theory and such. And I was able to transition into real vocal lessons about three years ago. And so ever since I've been practicing vocal lessons and strengthening my vocals and um, now uh, with what I'm gonna share with you today, um, First, I want to share just my simple uh, production setup. So I, about a couple years ago, um, I wanted to get into it and really get into actually making my music. And like, I would always be writing music. I've been writing music with my brother ever since uh, we were like seven years old. There's a goofy song we wrote a while ago. It's called Tell Me Who I Am. But uh We've been writing music for a while and I actually wanted to start um, producing my music and start making that into something everybody could listen to. And so I started out with the real, 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 real simple DAW system, Audacity. And <laughs> I realized that um, in order for me to actually be able to progress with uh, my music, I needed to start researching and finding different DAW systems. And so for the past couple of years, I've been using uh, Fruity Loops and um, with Fruity Loops, I was able to make my first single that I released earlier this year, Call My Bluff. And I was able to work with a prior student at Phoenix Conservatory of Music, which is the conservatory that I attend. And his name is Christopher Jimenez Reyes. And I would, um, I would stay here at my house and then I would make the beats here at my setup. And then I would quickly go over to his place and he would help me master it and he would help me mix it and add in his elements of what he really wanted in there. And then I was able to add in my feedback to make the best product we have. And I was able to do the same thing with the song I'm gonna be sharing with you guys today called The Map. And I added in first in FL Studio, I added in a guitar loop of which I played. And then I quickly wrote a violin piece. I wrote a uh, violin melody to go with it. And so you'll hear a lot of strings in this piece. You'll hear a lot of harmonies in the back. And so it was easy for me to record all this here. I've been using, <laughs> I've been using the Focusrite audio interface as well as the Focusrite Scarlet Studio mic that came with the package that I ordered on Amazon a while back. And so eventually I'm gonna upgrade it, but this is what I've been working with. And it's been, it's been pretty useful for these past couple of years. But um, also here at my desk, I have an Elise's VI25 MIDI controller of which I don't think I've really ever used for producing um, my songs yet, but I'm gonna dabble into this and learn <laughs> how to actually use it. And um, I have a simple uh, dual speaker setup, uh, PreSonus. And um, uh, of course, Christopher, uh, the producer I was working with, he had a whole range of other technology that I had never heard of and I wasn't able to work with yet. But um, so with that being said, this is the final product, which I actually also filmed a music video to. This is the map. So here it is. Open the map, you see the road that we took is how we come back. It is the same when we saw a couple years back. It's been so long, but it felt short. But letting go is our last resort. You drift away because you can see all of the things that we get to be. I know everything is uncertain. But as we go, don't take this love for granted, promise.
Wow, it was great. It was thank great. You, thank you. Really good job. So, what I wanted to do with the with the next few minutes left, we're basically coming down to the last fifteen minutes of the meeting, um, and I want to leave time for question and answers, um, and discussion. But first, what I wanted to do because we all have this special opportunity, particularly from the Just Chicago team, Sierra, KB, Dex, and Badger. I like to get first some of your feedback um, directly. Um, to Lord, he's agreed uh, to open himself up as an artist and allow himself, you know, to kind of get some feedback from your perspective as managers and A&R folks. And, you know, Badger, you as an artist and Dex, you as a seasoned engineer and a uh, producer. So uh, you guys just kind of shooting in from there. We'll open up to uh, everyone to kind of give feedback, not only to Lord, but uh, questions um, to the Just Chicago team as well. So I'm going to kick it off to you guys, uh, KB and Sierra, and kind of get started with your um, feedback for Lord. Cool with that, Lord? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll say, firstly, you're you're extremely talented and you're adorable. So, yeah, I love your voice. I think that... How old are you? I just turned 16. Oh, 16. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, your voice is very young, so it's going to change a lot, but just keep mm -hmm. working. You play a lot of instruments. You already know, you know, music theory. I would say keep working. Your video is really hot, too. Thank you. Like Thank you. 
Yeah, no, I, I love I love the lyrics. Um, the video was crazy. You look really comfortable. Um, I like seeing you play um, some instruments. That was fire. Um, I thought I think that really shows you know uh, your artistry uh, and your versatility. I think that's fire. Um, but yeah, I mean the lyrics definitely stood out to me. Um, they're very strong, very powerful. I would say they're very mature. I would say they're very mature for your age for sure. Um, and you had some lungs for sure. Like <laughs> that, like it was really good. Um, I felt goosebumps, you know, during certain times of it. And uh, yeah, it's great. And I Thank keep going. you. Thank you so much. I would say that, yeah, I, I loved it, you know what I'm saying? Because you told me, yeah, I, I actually think that shit was really fire, you know what I'm saying? From the instrumentation to the vocals, everything, and the, vid the visual brought it all together because, you know, you showed everybody that it was you on the violin. I think that's very different. And I think you should just keep going, bro. I, I really like it, you know what I'm saying? It sounds like something I could hear on the radio. Something I could definitely hear, you know what I'm saying, for years to come. So keep working, I would say. Yeah, I like it a lot. I might have to hit you up for some violin loops, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Right. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Dex? Oh, I think you're muted. Can't really hear you. I can't hear you, Dex. Can't hear you. Well. Let's talk. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear me from over here? There you go. All right, yeah, sorry about that. I don't know, my phone is, says it's not muted, but it's definitely sounding muted. But um, I was saying, yeah, I love the song. I love the production, especially like the strings and the guitar elements in there were really nice. I was gonna ask, what what uh, mic did you use to record that song? This one right here. The, nice. uh, yeah. Facts. So yeah, I would, I would um, suggest uh, investing in like a $15, um, pop filter i could i could show you exactly which one you could get at any um music store or whatever um okay. but yeah I'll, I'll i'll grab it maybe towards the end of the video before we get off to just to show it to you but i know the pop filter will definitely help keep um some of the pulsive um mm -hmm. like hard p's or b's or t's or yeah, you know all those consonants stuff. yeah the consonants and stuff yeah i would say uh that will help with a little bit of that but other than that your music sounds fire like <laughs> thank you, you have a great voice i would just say keep keep uh definitely stay in the uh vocal lessons and stuff like that and just keep yes. strengthening you know you're only going to grow yeah thank you thank you cool cool thank you thank you all for giving uh more of that feedback any uh any uh students i see the uh the chat down here is going crazy people are you know can't believe you're 16 lord yeah. but uh, any of your peers out here uh any Folks want to share uh, any feedback with Lord? Anyone? Yeah, Lord, that was so good. Hey, oh. Vicola, thank you. <laughs> so much, like, and you playing the guitar and the violin, like that was so cool. I feel like I don't see a lot of people nowadays in like mainstream music playing the violin, but you made that right. sound so cool. <laughs> uh, so props to you for like also doing that by yourself and writing it and recording it, like. You're a star. Like I can't wait to. It's like I'm gonna Thank go to you. Thank you so much. I can't wait to say like I knew you before. You were... <laughs> oh, love your music, man. Thank you. Um, I'd like to say something. Hey, Jeremiah. Hi. <laughs> hey. <laughs> um, so I really, really enjoyed that song. I like the versatility of the lyrics. How it can work with a relationship or with protests, right? Mm, yeah. Um, so I think that was really cool. I felt that it could have used some percussion, mm -hmm. like um, some congos or even like acoustic, like tapping on the guitar itself mm -hmm. um, in like maybe a breakdown kind of a thing. Because when you were ramping up, it felt like it could have used an extra punch. Yeah. Um, I don't know if this mic wasn't able to pick up the actual song well, but um in the back, I did have some 808s driving it, and I had, um, yeah, other. You no, know, we wouldn't have heard those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I had well, to let down my headphones. It sounds much better on my headphones. Mm, okay, that's good to know. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeremiah. You had something else to say though, too. No. No, I said that that's really cool, and that they actually have them is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else want to share uh, their thoughts with Lord? I thought that the video was just amazing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. I definitely wanted to have a visual kind of tie into the whole message of the song to really get the audience to really feel what I wanted to put into the song. And so I'm happy that I was able to do that. So Yeah. Good work. That's Thank you. Really cool. Well, guys, we're coming up to the very end of our meeting. We got about another five minutes left. Um, are there any other questions in general for anything? This has been a very informative meeting. I'd like to definitely thank all of our guests um, and particularly the artists that were vulnerable enough to come and share their their work with everyone and and put themselves under the microscope of critique. Um, it's definitely not easy, you know, but uh, hats off and, you know, shouts to you guys for doing that, um, you know, and, um, you know, but that's, I mean, that's really it in terms of uh, me. I don't know if anyone else uh, has anything that they want to share or wants to jump in. Um, KB, is there any last piece of advice or anything that you would give to just because all, you know, some yeah. of the students on this call are aspiring artists as well. They may not have necessarily shared in this call, but just as we move forward, I always look at you, man, and I've always enjoyed our conversations around the industry. And I've always um, really had a lot of admiration for you being a young brother trying to push the industry forward. And, you know, we've right. had a lot of talks about just kind of taking control of your own brand. Just what's what's one last maybe nugget you can leave everyone just as we yeah. go forward out of this whole, you know, well, not go forward, but just now that we're in this yeah. period of being in the house and, and stuff and, you know, how we move forward with things and what's advice you can give some students around how they shape themselves and their brand? Uh, I would just say keep, keep believing in yourself. Um, you know, keep, keep believing in yourself. Keep pushing yourself. Um, you know, you can be your biggest enemy at times. Um, and you just, just keep going. I, I would say, I mean, there's, there's a lot of talent out there. Um, I mean, this year has been really hard. Um, I made some changes this year. Um, I decided to resign from United Masters to focus on my own brand. So I moved back to Chicago, trying to focus on my own business. Um, you know, I can compare that to an artist leaving the record label, but if you leave your record label, that doesn't mean that you're going to stop making music, you know? So, uh, you know, you guys are all very young very talented. You guys are at Berkeley. You guys are like, you know, what pe most people can compare to like the Harvard of music, you know, so you guys are in a great spot and you guys have nothing to go but up, you know, like it takes, sometimes it only takes one single for people to look at your whole catalog or sometimes you keep going and, and people know your whole catalog from day one. So I would say don't get shy, keep putting out music, keep pushing yourself, believe in yourself and uh, wake up every day and, and, uh, and, and try to make a hit, you know, you know, they're, uh, that I would say, yeah, that's what I would say. Wake up every day yeah. trying to make it, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, that's good advice. Um, and that's, you know, definitely something for us to part on and, and, and hopefully everyone can take with them. So that being said, this brings our meeting to a close, everyone. Um, thank everyone for your time. Uh, I think uh, you probably have gotten invitations for our meetings coming up tomorrow. We got a concert and stuff tomorrow, but thank you again. Uh, big thank you to the Just Chicago group. You guys have been very informative. I really appreciate you. Look forward to connecting with you on your socials and hearing more just about the different things that are coming up with your artists. Lord, thank you. Um, you know, you are a star indeed, my brother. And I look forward to hearing more from you and just, you know, continuing to hear stuff uh, going with you as well. So uh, everyone have a good afternoon. Stay safe uh, and keep washing your hands and wearing those masks. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, All, right, All right, people. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much.